years, as you can see, we're kind of overweight. And this is our video diary on the South Beach diet. Yes. So we're going to tell you a little bit about what our goal is with this, uh, with this video blog, and then we'll tell you about some of the stuff we're doing on the diet, and some of the stuff we're planning to do that's motivating us to stay on the diet. So, um, this is our third time to do... This is our third time to start South Beach. Don't let that discourage you. <laughs> we did okay on it the first time. And uh, we did Atkins one time, we did very well. Very well on Atkins. But uh, Harry couldn't do without milk. Oh, and had to have my milk. And there was several other things that were just too hard to do. I can't have popcorn on Atkins. Ooh. You can here. So, yeah, there's several things that uh, that South Beach is more moderate about. So that's that's why we're doing the South Beach diet. Because it's ti it's targeted differently. It's not low carb. It's 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 uh, good, good carbs and good fats. On the South Beach diet, as with many low carb or low fat type diets, you have to clean out your cabinets. It sucks, I know, and you've spent a lot of money on this food. But think about it: what it could do to you if you keep putting it in you, and you'll never get started, right? So what you can do is take these things that are bad for you and for us and give them to people who maybe need it more than we do. You know, maybe they're not concerned about being on a diet or something. Or give it to a local food pantry or something like that. So what we've done this morning is we've cleaned out our cabinets and we've only kept things that are appropriate for the South Beach diet. Uh, it's very similar on phase one to uh, like Atkins. It's very, very similar. Very similar. There's a lot of correlation there. Uh, but we've kept some items that we know that we're gonna, we can use for phase two, which is only two weeks away. Like the fruit here that you see. We can have that, but it's no sugar added. So, um, but anyway, this is what we've done. Now, the one thing you may see is, ah, I see a jar of Jif back there. Well, actually, we looked at that, and uh, it's pretty low in sugar. So what we're going to do is hang on to that. It's got a very long shelf life. So we're going to hang on to that for, for later, so we can do that. But in, for the meantime, we got some uh, whole, all-natural peanut butter. No sugar, right? Okay. So hot chocolate's full of sugar. This is not. This is not sugar-free. These we're gonna have to give to the dogs because it's full of noodles, but they'll love it. Um, we looked at uh, tomato uh, soup, and it's full of sugar. Can't have it. Okay. So, uh, and the problem with this is it's got, it's full of corn and carrots. Same thing with that. What's wrong with cream of mushroom soup? It's full of starch. Starch is sugar. This is all corn. What's wrong with Miracle Whip? It's full of sugar. Of course, I don't have to talk about that, or that, or that. This is something that we bought uh, on vacation. It's full of sugar. Hershey syrup, this thing is full of sugar. These powders are full of sugar. Oh, well, here's a couple of chai teas full of sugar. Sloppy Joe mix, sugar. Now, this chili mix is probably okay. I think we'll keep that. But the brown gravy has both. Well, that's got, that's got starch in it. That's got starch in it, so we can't keep that. But this powdered uh, chili mix should be okay. Okay, so no cereal, no cream wheat, because it's very high on the GI uh, glycemic index. No pumpkin pie really? with teriyaki. It's full of sugar. Full of sugar. Uh, of course, pasta. No, no. This is potatoes. No. Pasta. Pasta. Potatoes. We love potatoes, didn't we, Tommy? Didn't we love it? You can say yes. <laughs> You're back there. He's back there holding the camera. He's busy. Anyway, this is all rice. Don't have rice. Right now. Well, we could, but not right now. And really, it's probably not very good rice. This is potatoes. Some more. Now, this is a uh, this is whole grain brown rice. I believe that is permitted, but this has been open for a while. It's pretty old. I think we'll get rid of it. We'll save it for phase two. Uh, marshmallows, no. Corn chips, cornbread mix, obviously not because it's made of corn. <laughs> Eagle brand, no. These are French fried onions, so they're fried. So that means it's full of bad fat. Uh, jet puffed, no. This is an Aunt Jemima light, but it's still got too much sugar in it. We're going to go sugar free. Uh, Argo cornstarch, heck no. A whole bag of sugar and flour, no, no. These are raisins. You can't have raisins because they're full of sugar. 
and uh, coconut, and then of course last but not least, a big bag of powdered sugar. So there you are. So one of the things we want to tell you about is that we're going to, we're going to do rants and raves about our experiences with you know, just with the diet and with products on the diet, recommendations and reviews, whether it's we like this particular product or you know we tried this product for the first time and we're going to tell you what our experience was with it. So a yeah. little bit of the good and the bad with this. We'll probably <laughs> need to develop like uh, a vocabulary of mediocrity because a lot of these products are not super great, but they're not completely horrible. How about an they're example? Something in the middle, like these protein bars. They're they're kind of uncomfortable, I, but I, they're. Yeah, I agree. You but know, I like uh, I like South Beach's protein bars. I have to say they're kind of like Rice Krispie bars, only they're made with soy crisps. We'll have to talk about that later, anyway. Yeah. So stuff like that. We'll we'll have some uh, some other sweeteners is another yeah. cool thing to talk about because there's all these. Well, there's Linda, and there's Sweet Low, and then there's a okay. Nutra Sweet, yep. and then there's Sweet One, which is Ace K. Ace K, and how you could blend those and make things better tasting. Right. He's going to show you how to make uh, flavored water with a bottle of water and one of the Crystal Light type uh, drink mixes, instant drink mixes, single, single serving. Now you may think this is dummy proof, but there is a little trick to this. What you need to do is take your water, doesn't have to be Ozarka, and you need to drink a little bit first. So I'm going to... Just a little. You need room to shake your beverage. Mm -hmm. And so then you just go and pour it in. And you want to kind of be careful because anyway, don't breathe that in. There we go. Just real quick. And uh, shake her up. Give it a good shake because it'll lump up. And that's nasty too. Some of the off-brands are worse about lumping up than the Crystal Light brand. Yeah, and this is wonderful. It kind of looks funny, but it's great. So, how much do we love pomegranate? I love it. Great, Rod and Sarah. One of the things that we're going to discuss regularly is what our goals are as far as uh, doing the diet, staying on the diet, and what keeps us motivated. And keeping those goals real. Yeah, Keep like... Like we're going to set a, a close intermediate goal of like 20 pounds and we will go like buy a few new clothes. Not We're not going to buy a new wardrobe. But <laughs> don't get carried away too early. Don't reward yourself with food. Reward right. yourself with something else that you right. really want like a gadget or um, a like, a, like a beauty treatment or yeah, something. Or a massage or something. Yeah. Hair color. Something, you know, something interesting. <clears throat> but, and clothes is a really good reward. Especially as you start to really drop those pounds. Because you're wearing smaller clothes and they look better on you. Oh man, that does more for your self-esteem than anything. So let's talk about um, the next goal after that. After the 20 pound so goal? So the big, the big thing that we're shooting for early on is we are going on a seven day cruise to Alaska in September of 2007. Right. So we've got five months to, to lose some weight. Some weight. My goal is 40 pounds. And my goal is 50 pounds. Okay. And uh, since I'm, I'm already heavier, so that I should be able to lose a little more than Harry does. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's our September target. 40 and 50. 40 and 50, okay. And then... Uh, okay. So this is Tommy 301.8. First day. That's me, Harry. First day. 227.6. Yeah.